We are living in uncertain times, in a nation full of deep wounds and pain and uncertainty. Simply put, there is nothing usual about what is happening. As such, we felt it would be important to deliver a singular message today. And with that, I would like to welcome Dr. Neil Barnard to the show. Thank you. Um, these are uh, sadly not unusual times. Um, racism is a scourge that is recurrent, continual, and we need to deal with it. Um, with that in mind, I wanted to quote some comments from a great leader, and that's Borough President Eric Adams. He's the Borough President of uh, the Borough of Brooklyn. And on May 30th, he uh, wrote the following. This is, these, these are Borough President Adams' words. Last night, when I walked from Borough Hall to the heart of the protests in Brooklyn over the murder of George Floyd, I reflected on the pain I felt for him. And it's a pain that we felt again and again over the years as we watched countless black people across the country fall victim to police abuse. Now, earlier that very same day, Borough President Adams joined the Navajo Nation President, Jonathan Nez and me in a special program that was trying to deal with another scourge and that's diabetes, taking a terrible toll in indigenous people. And Borough President Adams was there that very morning. And if you don't mind, I'd like to quote to you what he said that morning. He said that what is at issue is more than just an eating habit, it's regaining our rightful place as people who understood the land and ate from the land, people who appreciated nature and understood the human connection we had. It's about regaining our right. We were fed food that destroyed us and who we are and took away the dignity that came from being healthy, intelligent people. Now it's time, I believe, and these are Borough President Adams' words. Now is the time, I believe, to regain our rightful place of being connected with nature, connected with our health, we should not be living with diabetes, heart disease, high blood pressure, and all the chronic diseases that are running rampant through our society. That should not be the legacy for our children. Let's regain our right to be healthy and to raise healthy children and families in the process. And I want to say as a physician, it was a wonderful thing for me to hear Borough President Adams join with Navajo Nation President Jonathan Nez and me and others to call for an end to genocide in all its forms. And so if I may, I'd like to share with you just a final thought. We and many others have issued statements to show our solidarity, our solidarity regarding the recent events. A statement of solidarity is not enough. The death of George Floyd at the hands of Minneapolis police on May 25th was more than an atrocity. It was proof that, that the continuing nearly identical scenarios of black men murdered by police officers continues unabated. And more broadly, it highlighted the fact that racism is endemic in our culture and it takes an ever greater toll. Racism cannot be cured. It doesn't go away. It can only be counteracted. Racism is a stench that exudes from human pores and it needs to be washed away every single day. And it takes every imaginable form. And our job as doctors and as human beings is to remove the stench of racism and in the damage that it's caused and to restore dignity to make the very best of health available to everyone. Thank you very much.